Hello, my name is Andy and I'm Compulsive Gambler, last bet, 14th of April 2007. Hi guys, uh, apologies for not getting a vlog up over the weekend, it's not without trying, I've been, <laughs> I've had two attempts already trying to record a vlog, this is my third attempt now. Um, all in all, I'm in good nick, uh, I've had a busy couple of weeks, which I'll explain about later. Uh, just want to talk a bit more about recovering, how I recovered more than anything. Um, what I believe you have to do as a compulsive gambler is to learn to take responsibility. I fully admit I only learned to start taking responsibility when I got caught, when my wife found out about everything what I'd done. Um, fully admit that. Um, I went to GA, obviously, uh, which I, I, I'll always acknowledge it, will save, it saved my life. Um, help me save my life rather um, learning to take responsibility learning to, to take control of your own actions um, you have to embrace your recovery it sounds very childish and small what you do but at the end of the day you have to do everything that that needed to stop yourself from gambling be it just having a couple of quid in your pocket for each day when you're at work or whatever, wherever you go, limiting yourself totally, uh, self-excluding from bookmakers, casinos, banning yourself from online gaming sites. You can do these. There is many, many places to help and achieve this. But it's about learning to take control of your own life again. It's like restarting to restarting your life it's a it's simple fact y your life was so overwhelmed with gambling and then once you stop it and take it away you have to fill it with something else so it's learning to take the time to do that learning to appreciate what time you have um for me i was doing a lot of running i've done a lot of running got myself nice and fit started to read quite a lot more as well um don't get me wrong i think the biggest thing for someone who's got a problem gambling is the boredom people are bored and the, and it's easy to access on your mobile phone on uh, online or if you just wanted to nip into any city center in the uk there, there is bookies everywhere and it is in your face and yeah i agree with uh, a lot of people that it is too much in your face but Embracing your recovery and learning to take the responsibility is key. Only once you start learning and listening, you do realise that you can achieve this. And it's an amazing thing. It is. I've got everything I ever wanted by not gambling. Everything I ever chased while I was gambling, I've got now by not doing it. I feel really good with it all and stuff. So, yeah. Um, with regards... Uh, last couple of weeks I've had a very busy couple of weeks started my new job today I officially started for Rolls Royce um, I'd like to thank Kuhn and Nagel who I used to work with before which is a logistics company for the last two and a half years I uh, had a really really good time there it helped me get back on my feet after a ropey couple of years previously with work um, just knuckled down and worked hard and threw myself into work it was really good um had an opportunity to apply for Rolls Royce. I uh, went and it was great. I got the job. Been waiting a few months to have the clearances involved and get there and stuff. And uh, I'm finally in now and I uh, started today. Uh, it was nice to get off shift work as well because I've worked a lot of night shifts over the last... Since I was 21 really. I'm 38 on Wednesday so happy birthday me. Um, but yeah. In good nick with that. Uh, there's a big report over uh, in Britain lately regards the gambling and things like that. Uh, a lot of media attention, especially on fixed odds betting terminals. Um, perhaps I have been a bit too harsh with people on Twitter and social media who follow me. Um, I never mean to upset anybody or anything like that. Um, it's just, I think... Focusing on one element element of gambling doesn't help a problem gambler. 
I think focusing on all the elements and what we can do to achieve this and working together is key. Don't get me wrong, I believe the gambling industry really do need to up the game with regards to things, especially on adverts and I think on education and also especially on paying out a bit more to get more services to people who are struggling and who are in need, who are in need of help. But at the end of the day, it's up to us to stop gambling. Whatever help we receive, embrace it. Whatever way you recover, be it GA, be it Gam Care, be it uh, Gamble Aware or anywhere else. I mean, there's some fantastic companies out there who will try and help you, especially in the UK. I'm not sure about abroad or anything like that, but I'm sure if you do Google gambling help, gambling addiction, look for, looking for help, there will be plenty of places for you. For me though, Gamblers Anonymous, best place for me. Got a desire to stop gambling and it's brilliant. Um, yeah, so I did a lot of radio stations over the last week or so, just like giving my thoughts and my debate and my opinion on fixed odds betting terminals in the UK. Uh, I won't delve too much into it because a lot of people know what I stand for. I've seen it in the vlogs previously and things like that. I'm, I try and talk about recovery more and try and get help for compulsive gamblers, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, I've had quite a lot of media attention with it and to be honest, it drained me towards the end. I don't think I could keep up with doing something like that every day, so I've got utmost respect for people who have campaigns with various issues on gambling addiction and and other gambling harm initiatives and things like that who are in the spotlight every day. <laughs> You're wonderful people doing that. Uh, I'll admit that fully. Me, even if we disagree or not, I fully respect that. Um, as I say, I continue to do these vlogs, continue to try and help people and help people understand. Um, I'm totally independent of everything, but I'm not. I quite happily work with anybody, either within industry or without, or who have companies set up or charities set up. Anybody will try and help out on a voluntary basis. Whatever I can do, I just want to help people to stop themselves from gambling. So I'm trying to help others do the same. Um, the intentions are always good. I'm not in it for the glory. <laughs> There's no glory. At all. I just want to try and help. And that's the crux of it really. Um, I'm in a good nick. I'm happy. My name is Andy and I'm a compulsive gambler. My last bet was 14th of April 2007. Bye guys.